to Python scripting for GIS applications. This is a class at the University of Alaska Fairbanks, and it is spring semester 2013. This week, I'm going to teach you about a module named arcpy.mapping. And this module is basically used for working with map documents. And it could be either MXD files on your hard drive or a currently open ArcMap document. And it's a useful module for working in either the data view, such as this, or the layout view, such as this. So for your homework, you're actually going to have two assignments, one working in the data view. What you'll do is make a script tool that will do three things for the user. One, a selection. Two, zoom to selection. And then three, clear selection. If we don't use a script tool, we have to do this in three steps. So basically what we would have to do is go select by attribute, and then we'll pick some fire polygon. These are all the fires in Alaska from 2000 to 2010. So we're going to select a fire polygon fire name. So fire name equals get unique values. And we'll pick the largest tundra fire ever recorded in Alaska. And that was in 2007, the Anatovic River fire. So we've selected that polygon. So then the next step would be we'd have to zoom to that selected polygon. And then the problem is if we were going to use any geoprocessing tool, it would work only with this selected polygon. And we might want to do geoprocessing with all the polygons. So what we would have to do is go and clear selection. So basically what you're going to do is those three steps in a script tool. So here's our script tool. So basically we select our input layer that we want to select from, and then we'll do it a selection query. So in our selection query, fire name equals get unique value, and we're looking for the Anatovic River fire. So then we're all set to go, and then we'll just press OK. So let me put this script tool on the side and it does exactly what it was supposed to do. So that's one application of the ArcPy mapping module that allows you to work with the current map document. Okay, the other application that you'll work on this week is in the layout view. So that's from the view menu layout. And what we want to do is create PDFs showing the annual wildfires burned in Alaska from 2000 to 2010. So you could do this manually. You could select the title and go to properties and you could change the text of the title. And then basically you could do a definition query. So our query would be fire year is equal to 2000. And then we could export this to a PDF file, and then we'd have to do the same thing. We'd have to do a definition query for the next year. So fire year is equal to 2001. And then we'd have to change this title, and we'd have to do that 10 times. So it's much more efficient to use arcpy.mapping, where you can just loop through for a year in a loop going from 2000 to 2010. So we write our ArcPy mapping script and execute it. And then the ArcPy mapping script creates this PDF map book. So the first page is just a title page. And then the subsequent pages are year by year, what was the fire polygons for each year, all the way down to the last year, Alaska wildfires 2010. So it's a very efficient way to create map books where you're looping through something and having to create page by page by page. Okay, so that's what I'm going to teach you this week is arcpy.mapping, and it's an object-oriented module. So basically what we have to do is start with the map document object, and I'll teach you about that. And then in the next video session, I'll teach you about how to work with data frames. And then once you learn how to work with data frames, then I'll teach you how to work with layers inside data frames, and we'll proceed from there. So let's go to the next video session.